Hi, my name is Brad Platt, and um, I just wanted to tell you about my story with regards to going to Southwestern College. Uh, I grew up locally here in Chula Vista and went to Hilltop High School. Um, I played football there and at the position of quarterback. Um, at the end of my three years at uh, Hilltop High School, um, I had absolutely no opportunities to go beyond uh, high school uh, playing football. And uh, football was something that I absolutely loved to do and had aspirations to go all the way, all the way to the NFL, like uh, uh, most of us do who play the sport. Um, I had a coach contact me from Southwestern Community College, and he said that uh, they would really like me to come out and uh, um, try out. And um, I was excited. Uh, certainly wasn't something that I was thinking about doing, but um, uh, I went out there and I did that. Uh, long story short, get out there. Um, seven other quarterbacks besides myself were all vying for the same position. And uh, through luck and some other unfortunate opportunities that happened to some other quarterbacks and stuff like that, um, I was finally afforded an opportunity to start in the fifth game of my freshman year. And uh, from there on in, uh, through the rest of my freshman year and my sophomore year, I started uh, quarterback at Southwestern College. Um, what's the biggest thing that I got from Southwestern College? An opportunity. Um, an opportunity that I would not have gotten uh, coming out of high school. So going to Southwestern College and playing with uh, a bunch of amazing athletes from a lot of different high schools, um, from the, the local high schools around uh, the South Bay and uh, East County and um, some other schools. You know, we had a really good team and um, I was able to put up some pretty cool stats and um, I was able to get a full ride scholarship to San Diego State University. Um, the, the greatest thing that I ever got out of San Diego State University, aside from uh, living out my dream playing football there and uh, having an opportunity to start there as well was uh, getting my uh, my bachelor's degree in kinesiology. Um, once I got my degree in kinesiology, um, that's when my career came to an end. I uh, had a few tryouts, uh, didn't work out, but um, that's okay. Um, uh, it, it was a stepping stone uh, to get my degree um, the scholarship playing football paid for my degree, and that was um, a huge opportunity for me. Uh, going on from there, I, um, I went into uh, the fitness field, um, managing facilities, fitness facilities, um, uh, owning my own um, uh, business, um, you know, mostly fitness for a lot of years. And then after uh, doing that for about 10 years, um, uh, I decided to go back to school and get my uh, master's degree. Uh, uh, the decision to do that was mainly just for education. Um, I, I, I loved going to school. I enjoyed the challenge of school. And so I went back and I uh, got my master's degree in kinesiology. Well, at that time, uh, I believe that was about 2005, um, I was selling fitness equipment uh, at that time. And so I went out to Southwestern College and I ran into uh, a friend of mine who was teaching there and um, who I played with on the football team at Southwestern College. And he said, uh, had I had ever taught before? And I said, no, I had not. And um, he said, do you have your master's degree? And I said, I'm just about finished. And so uh, bottom line was he helped me get a couple of classes at Southwestern College and uh, Man, once I taught those classes, I was hooked. And um, in 2006, I started teaching at Southwestern College um, uh, as an adjunct professor. And uh, I did that for four years, uh, teaching there as well as uh, a few other community college colleges. And in 2010, uh, through hard work and perseverance, um, uh, I was afforded a full-time position, full-time tenure position at Southwestern College. And um, I've been full-time uh, professor there in the kinesiology department for the last 10 years. And uh, it's come full circle. Um, being a part of the 
the Southwestern community uh, as a uh, student athlete um, uh, helped me uh, come full circle because when it was time for me to come back and teach, uh, the first person I ran into was a fellow football player who talked to people and said, I know this guy, you know, he's a good guy, he works hard, let's give him a shot. And then when I got into the department and I started running into instructors that were um, old professors of mine when I was at Southwestern College as a student athlete and getting to know them and uh, they knew what my work ethic was, was a student athlete. And then now they started to see what my work ethic was as an instructor. And so, uh, as I stated, through hard work and perseverance, um, that really helped me get that full time position. And, um, you know, I attribute all of that to uh, the sport of football because f football was the genesis of starting all of that process to happen. And that led to a scholarship that led to a good degree that led to a master's degree um, that led to um, what I absolutely love doing is teaching and making a positive impact in people's lives. So um, it is without a doubt um, uh, an honor to be a, a part of the Southwestern College Jaguar football legacy. Um, I look back on those two years playing at Southwestern College is probably the two most fun and uh, uh, great years of my football career. Um, still in close contact with a lot of guys that I played with. We had a very successful program while we were there and it was just a lot of fun. And so, um, you know, it don't, you know, a lot of people coming out of high school, they always want to go on to these major universities. You know, don't overlook the community college opportunity because uh, it can lead to uh, many great things. So uh, having said all that, um, it again is an honor and a privilege uh, to be a part of the Southwestern College Jaguar football legacy. Uh, appreciate this opportunity. Thank you.